First things first, noise is not as big of a deal as people tend to make it. Don't be obsessed with noise. Sometimes noise in a recording can be charming. However, there are situations where, you know what, that noise is distracting me in this really simple fix for at least this specific example. So here's a guitar, final chord of the song, and the song is this beautiful, warm, lush thing, and as the final chord was ringing out, I kept getting distracted by this crackly sound coming from my guitar, electric guitar. It was just noisy that day. The pickups were picking up some wonky stuff. Um, in the main performance, I couldn't hear it, but in that final chord, it was just distracting me. Let me play that for you. I'll turn it up so you can hear. Here's what that sounded like. Here comes the noise. Right, so what I was wanting was this big reverby, uh, like slow fade into oblivion. But what I got was, so as the song faded out, the faded in because it's a constant noise, right? So as the guitar got quieter, then I was hearing that noise. So a lot of songs, if you end the song with burner, doesn't matter. Who cares about the noise? But if you're ending it and having it fade like this nice long, like six bars of fade out then sometimes that noise can be a problem. How do you solve it? Well, what do we know about this specific noise? The main thing we know about it is, is it, it's a high frequency noise. It's only really happening way up in like the, I'd say 5K and above. So what could we do about that? Well, we could take a tool like an EQ, for example, and we could get rid of the high frequencies like this. That would solve our problem, right? forward to the end. I don't really hear the noise anymore, but what's the problem? Well, now the guitar sounds terrible because what made it sound so good was it had this nice brightness to it in the mix. I don't want to lose that brightness, but I want to get rid of the noise at the end. What's the solution? I know the solution. Maybe you've already guessed the solution. If you have, leave it in the comment. Let me know you guessed it. But here it is. If I open this up and take a look, I do have an EQ plugin on here. And if I turn on automation, so I make this track read the automation that I've written to this track, you'll notice something magical that happens at the end of this song. Here we go. And that can go for days if I want it to. I could, it could extend for another eight seconds, no noise, no problem, because all you hear when you're thinking about what you're hearing as something fades out, you're not hearing any high frequencies. The high frequencies are mainly the front end of a sound, usually, and then what you hear that as it sustains is lower frequencies. So by rolling this off, you really don't hear the roll off happening almost at all. You just hear the guitar goes bang, and then the warm just continues, and the noise doesn't come in to distract you. How do you do this? It's really easy. And actually, let me do it from scratch so I can show you exactly how to make this happen. So let's take, we'll throw an EQ on this channel, okay? And let's turn the EQ on, that'll help. First thing you do is turn on the high cut, also known as a low pass filter. Turn it on and then push this all the way to the top so you don't really hear anything happening. Next, click on that, find the section you want to the fade to happen and click on this high cut knob. Click on it, move it around so that this up here now tells me that high cut frequency was the last thing that I touched. Then just click on the A. And what it does is it creates an automation lane or shows me the automation lane for that particular parameter. And if I click here, right here, let's say we started about right there. I can adjust this and you can see if you zoom in on what I'm you can see that it's telling me what the frequency is. So this is rolling it down to about 2K. That feels about right. And I can figure out how slowly I want to roll it down, maybe like this. And then all I do is hit play and watch the EQ move. Simple as that. Next time you have a noisy track at the end of a session, uh, I, I, either like room noise, cable noise, or click bleed on like an acoustic guitar, same trick works for all of those situations. Cleans up. You don't hear the high frequency annoyingness. You just feel the warmth of the bottom end, and everyone's happy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.